Now we're back out here today with JD's 1959 Ford Custom Sedan. I'm going to show you how to install a DIY headliner with stuff you bought at Goodwill. What we got for you today is a little different than what you might expect. It's about a thousand playing cards. I don't know which side we should put out first, JD. You think, think you should put the letters out or the backs? Mm. Maybe every other one. Yeah. What we're going to do is glue all these playing cards to the headliner in that car because headliner is expensive. So we'll probably alternate them, trying to make some sort of a pattern or something, or just jumble the crap out of it. Because we got a whole bunch of different kinds of playing cards. This I think we mix all of them up. Just, well, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Well, I guess that should be our first task, task then, is just open them all up and dump them out, huh? Yeah. Ooh, golden nugget. That's from Vegas. I don't know why there's holes in the golden nugget cards. I don't know. Uh, these are from Isle of Capri in Boonville. J.D. thinks he's got a plan, huh? Mm -hmm. Tell him what your plan is. So we're going to do like section by section in the middle first. So the easiest part first. Okay. And we're going to put the cards like this way or yeah. like this way. Mm. You know, oh. like horizontal or... Probably don't make too much of a difference, does it? But probably want it like this for... You want horizontal? Yeah. Horizontal is cool with me. And so here's how we're going to put them up there. Pretty much, we're going to use whatever we can find that is adhesive. Kind of splooge a little bit onto the back of this card here, like so. And I'm going to try to kind of find the middle. It all started with a number two. Yeah, that'll work. Once it dries, it yeah. should stay up there. And this will act as sound detonator when we actually put a headliner in the car. And then someday, you'll take the headliner out and go, what the hell? We may have to go back with some super glue and just kind of... Yeah. You know, do our thing. You know what would work better than this? <laughs> it would be to squeeze a little on it, yeah. and then take like a putty spreader and get it evenly coated on the back. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just kind of try to get the edges of it, because I think that's where we're going to run into some problems. Here's what I would really like to do. We get all these glued up, right? Mm -hmm. And then coat them with clear. Yeah, they will be. We, well, how about you kind of work on this, Yeah. and I'll go mix up some clear. And do a couple cards with it. Mm -hmm. And see what it Yeah, see if does. they mess them up or, you know. Here's your putty spreader. Try not to get silicone everywhere. And okay. Good luck, sir. So we got our base kind of laid here. You can kind of smell what we're cooking, I think. And uh, never was much of a tile, guys, so don't judge. But what we'll do to cover up our, you know, kind of, I don't know, we got some corners and stuff that are staying down, is we'll take a card every now and then and just kind of stick it diagonally across it to kind of enhance the pattern. I, I think it's going to look pretty unique. It's my little experiment. Two playing cards. Mixed up a little clear and a little activator. I brushed it over them to bury them together. Now the clear, I was thinking of using it as a glue to glue it, and it might have worked. But then again, this one's kind of eh. But what I really wanted to know is if they would bury together and not, you know, destroy the card in the process. And it looks like they'll work fine. So what that'll do is that'll let us seal all the cards together and then give all of them a nice shiny coat. So it'll be kind of like one uniform piece on the roof. How's it coming? Good. Back at it another day. Another hard day doing a headliner. We're going to work ten times as hard doing this as we would just putting a headliner in it. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Ah, okay. It's way cooler, though. Well, there's one section complete. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. Getting these stuck down, maybe we have to let her dry and come back with some super glue. Yeah. yeah. And it's on to, I guess we'll do this part first. Let's do the parts you look at first. halfway done I think this is uh this takes a lot longer than I thought but we just finished up using the one tube of silicone 
have one more and that should do it all I think and then I'll debate whether I spray or brush the clear on this now we're changing it up to liquid nails because that's what we have I don't know it, it'll probably work yeah it's glue kind of right yeah yeah I don't know the last thing we're gonna need to do on this thing is put glue on the edges like here kind of peel it off or like back there so yeah start doing that jd's just cleaning up a few edges there i think we're ready to go ahead and start clear coating this so we picked up dollar tree drop cloths here to cover the interior with you can get these actually pretty nice paint brushes at dollar tree right here those are going to work really good and all i'm going to do is just take some of this extra clear coat i had some random activator i had mix up some in a cup JD's getting our drop cloth set up but it mixes four to one I'm not sure how much we're gonna need so I'll just kind of go easy on it for right now we take a break in the action bring you this word from today's sponsor Billy Ray here with Hyperlight I've got a parking lot light here they sent to me to install so I can light up the outdoors like the sun here's what we got in the box we got a mount we got a light baby comes with a unique two-piece mounting system where you mount this mount here and then these little prongs in the light itself click right in there you don't got to deal with trying to hold that whole thing up I'm thinking we mount it like right there. I'm just going to use some lag bolts. Mount her up right here. This is the photo sensor right here. If you leave that open, it'll come on day and night, you know, like a fancy light. Chee -chee. Take the supplied Allen bolts, tighten them down. Then you can adjust this joint to give you the, the angle of the dangle that you want. Loosen up the side screw here, and I want it to flood out a little, so that's what we got. Land our hot neutral and ground on here. It's now dark. This thing is literally daylight. Thanks to Hyperlight for supplying the 150 watt parking lot light. There's a link to it in the description. Discount code down there for you to use as well. Check them out and tell them I sent you. Four parts clear. Tell this stuff's probably real good. Stir it up. Now it's a little more liquidy than like a wood clear polyurethane, which I considered using, but I have this, so. Oh, worth a shot, right? All right, gotta sit on grandma's couch back here. And I don't know how this is gonna work, cause like I said, this stuff's pretty thin. So we may end up making a hell of a mess. An ice paint brush. Yeah, for a, at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar 25 Tree. Oh God. Well, those aren't stuck at all. There. No. They might be after this. Yeah, shiny. Yeah, it is. Man, this is freaking right, man. I'm gonna get high as hell in here. The idea here is we glue them all together and maybe you go driving down the highway and it doesn't end up like in a tornado of playing cards. <laughs> which I could see that happening. Oh, yeah. On that note, we are taking this car and the Holy Goat down to Sykes to Missouri for the No Name Nationals. And uh, if I remember, I'll put a link down below. And when I don't remember, just search it up on YouTube, John Wilburn's channel. It's dripping. It's dripping. Oh, God. It's dripping. See? Huh? Huh? See, I was smart. Huh? Yeah. See how smart I was? Mm-hmm. Big brain. It's the big brain time. I think I coated it all. Did I coat it all? Uh. Do you want a mask? <laughs> no. Uh, rags, please. Okay, yeah. I am going to be absolutely disgusted by the time I'm done with this. Well, yeah. I am not very smart sometimes. You got your professional gloves. Right. Right. As close to bitch mittens as I'll ever get. Why am I doing this? Hey, at least we got this stuff down. It's saving the day. Dollar Tree to the rescue. I think you guys get the idea how I'm going to be doing this, so... We'll jump back in with you if anything interesting happens or after we're done. JD's touching up the bottom of those rockers with some black tractor paint. You guys seen that in an earlier video where we didn't get it sprayed underneath there, so, you know, we'll, we'll fix that. But, take a look at that. Shiny. And, all one piece now, hopefully. Think it's dry? Uh... Oh, it is. It is? Yes, it is. Okay. Already. Not like totally but i can touch it yeah oh dude they are it's like one solid piece <laughs> oh so when you're going down the highway each 
solid piece will come down. Right, it'll just <laughs> for yeah. the whole, and then you'll get blinded, and then you'll wreck, and... Well, that's better than all of them. Oh, yeah, tornadoes. dude, that's way better than a tornado. It's cool. I, I think it's yeah. awesome. Well, this just goes to show, guys, that uh, you don't gotta have a lot of money to have a cool car. These came from, like, I don't know, uh, thrift stores, I think. You know, just, like, I don't know, how many decks of cards? Probably like 10. I don't know, for, like, $3.00 then some whatever. The silicone caulk worked better than the liquid nails, so take that into account on your own project. That's even cheaper. So just use regular old silicone caulk and then a little bit of clear coat. And I bet wood varnish would work just as good, if not better, uh, than the auto clear that we just used. But urethane is urethane. It'll be fine. Just remember, this is why we're the real budget channel on YouTube. Uh, I haven't seen anybody else uh, install a headliner for like 10 bucks. So, you know, I think we got it nailed down. Anyway, guys, remember to hit that like, hit that subscribe, and stick around for more. Make sure you check out the full build on this car here, uh, this 59 Ford. If you haven't already, it's pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. And uh, make sure you're commenting down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, the algorithm likes comments, you know. So, yeah, just uh, go put something down there. We'll see you guys next time on Pull Bar Garage.